Good morning and welcome back to Shorelek TV. Um, this morning you can see I'm inside a container. Uh, the job today we've got is to basically put uh, a non-corrosive LED fitted somewhere up there. A um, bit of black conduit over to a fuse board. A um, couple of IP rated sockets over there. Um, so a bit of conduit work. What it is, is we're at a um, fan rental company and this is the wash bay. So this is the existing fuse board. So we, it's, um, it's on a six mil 32 amp supply at the moment. So we're gonna put another uh, MK breaker in next to that and come straight off this board out the outside. into another adaptable box up there um, which will then clip the cable round all the way round uh, over this wash bay and then well, what we're going to do is just fix a bit of catenary wire up there somewhere up there and then put another adaptable box um, somewhere on there to uh, make up for us to be away we've also got to put up a couple of light fittings in the actual wash bay itself so um, we've got two five foot twin um, LED corrosive fittings which are going to go either side of this bay here just um, on there so when the, uh, the guy's washing the vans or inside the vans, valeting the vans um, he can see inside if it's dark um, but for that there's already a supply up there so all we're going to do is just piggyback off that um, and that's switched inside this container just there and we're also going to put a nice LED um, floodlight up there um, just so they can see out the front so yeah I'll keep you updated I'll probably um, show you making me off some SWA um, bending some conduit maybe if it, if it needs it it might not need any um, but yeah we'll see how we get on Right, so I'm now about to show you um, some conduit bending. Uh, first I'll just show you where we're at so far. So we've got the board up there. Um, we've got our female coupler, um, bush sorry, up there ready for a, um, a bit of conduit bend. Along there, up to a tee box, straight down, and then we're gonna have to do a little kick across and down to this switch. Um, we're gonna have another conduit box up there somewhere, which is gonna drop down to that socket and that's just going to be a short radial so yeah we've got a hole through to outside which we've got a bit of um, castle strip or grommet strip um, around both holes through the board and the container uh, the outside we've got our adaptable box this time we've got our whisker box um, so we're giving one of them a go this time um, I don't know if you can see as well on the I've used 15mm self tappers uh, for the fixings um, but just to make sure that it's all watertight and there's no sharp ends, I've actually, um, what do you call it, angle grind, grinded them off um, so, and put a bit of sealant around them so there's no sharp edges. Same again on this side, so a couple there, a couple there, just got to put a bit of sealant on um, and they're good to go. So um, I'm going to set you up here and we shall. Or I shall walk you through a bit of conduit bending hopefully just got my bit of conduit in from outside i've left it in the sun just to heat up a little bit uh, makes it easier to bend um, it's still a bit cold here today it's only about eight degrees um, so we don't want to split in or anything when we put the bending spring in so what i'm going to do is mark out on this piece of conduit um, 970 from the bottom i'll get this on camera brings us somewhere there. What we're going to do is get the bending string. So this is my 20mm bending string. Um, it's a fairly new one actually because my other one got kinked which is no good. All I've got on the end is a little bit of 1.5 uh, cable. This just helps pull it out. Um, what you want to do is um, obviously put this mark now. Good. Oh yeah. 
So obviously you want to, what I would do first is line this up with your mark, about there, and then line it up with the end of your cable. Put a little plank in the end of your cable, um, so you know how far down the spring needs to go. Obviously put the spring on. Give it a little wiggle so it falls down. And there you go, that's stopped at our kink in the cable, so we know that the, the spring is in place where we're going to be bending um, the conduit. So what we want to do is, it's a bit, um, a bit of a funny thing to do, but just rub the conduit off, it's probably a nice way to say it. Um, where you're going to be bending, this just heats it up a bit more, makes it a bit easier to bend. And all we're going to do is bend it over the knee. Now where you can see down there, I'll bring this down. So our mark is just there. Bend it over the knee. Should get a nice smooth 90 bend. Just let it set for a little minute because it will move about. So you don't want to take the spring out until you've definitely got that. Um, exactly how you want it basically. Um, so all you can do is just literally pop it up with the spring still in place, move it up a bit. Just so you have got the correct length. That is perfect. So I'll just show you the finished result of the bending. So if you can see, we've got a nice little set in there now. Um, that just goes across nice and smoothly over there. You see our night is nice and tight. And that runs along straight to that conduit box. Haven't glued anything up yet um, until I've got everything else in place just to make sure it is um, all lining up um, and as we want it. So I'm just going to do a couple more bends, like I said I've got one more bend 90 to do for that conduit drop for the socket and I've got to do a 90 up there for the board so I'll get them done and then we'll start running some cables in. Right, I just want to show you where we're at now. Um, we've got the cables in, all of the conduit is in, um, all nicely bent, ready to go. We've got our non-corrosive fitting up there which is uh, manufactured by Ansel Lighting. Uh, this particular one is called the Tornado. Um, it's a five foot fitting. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll connect everything up. A couple of sockets connect up. Um, obviously, like I said, we've just got a permanent feeder switch and then switch wire out to the light. So that's that. Um, probably won't connect the board up um, until I've got obviously the supply in. All right, so I'm just gonna guide you through uh, making off a piece of SWA cable. Um, so the SWA we've got here is 6mm free core. First thing you want to do is make sure you leave a nice little water loop when you're measuring to make off the gland. Um, this just helps any excess cable run off. So what you want to do is, once you've taken off the bottom part of the gland, just make a little mark up to where you want the SWA to be, uh, or the steel wire to be cut around the gland. Uh, usually this. Uh, Go right up to but up to the thread. So first things first you need is the axle. You, what you want to do is give it a nice, nice cut all the way round. So you're just kind of uh, scoring the SWA wires. So you should be able to see once you cut all the way round. You should be able to see the little scores in the uh, the wiring or the steel wires, shall I say? Just make sure you've got all the way around because it is quite hard to, to um, do that once you've stripped the back. Next bit you need is a, a standing knife. So with your standing knife what you need to do is just strip back off the black outer sheath like so. Separate maybe like uh, 
six and eight at a time. Pull them back all the way down. And then where we've made our little score on the cables, you can literally just give them a slight wiggle. Once you've got that tight with your adjustable spanner, 
take one there the next bit is to put the waterproof part of the gland and do that up. So this whisker box um, that's just clipped up the container and then we've got our bit of catenary wire up there um, just up there you can see it running along and then now inside here like I said earlier we've got that nice little bit of sheath on the cable still just protecting it as it comes through the container um, and the fuse board a little bit more um, so now what we're going to do is probably make the fuse board off um, and then all that's left is to make off the other end. Uh, but like I said earlier, we're back tomorrow to put some lighting in the wash bay, some LED lighting. So we'll see how we get on. Right, we're now at the stage of connecting up. So um, we've got all our wires in the fuse board. Um, we've got a 10 mil worth here. Um, what I didn't mention earlier is we're um, installing a for it for this particular installation. Um, so we're going to TT system it. It's supplied from a TNTS system. Um, it's outside the air potential zone, um, hence the need for the earth rod really. Um, we don't want two potentials. Uh, what we've done is we've run the TT earth down on this conduit, down to a little terminal box down there, straight through the wall. And then we're just out here, done a little pig's tail, a um, little copper crimp, down to the earth rod, and once we've tested, we'll put this little cover back on. Alright, so I'll just position you up here and we'll start cleaning the board up. about getting nice and tidy so that's the fuse board all done um, well you can see in there try to keep it fairly neat so now all we've got to do is connect the other SWA up at the other end uh, give this lot a test put the cover back on label it all up and we're done. And like I said, all else we've got to do is um, put a few or a couple of LED non corrosive fittings in the wash bay and uh, a floodlight at the top of the flood, um, wash bay as well. So I might not video that, but I might show you the end results. Right, so we're all done here. Um, everything's completed. So we've got the fuse board up there. We've got our RCD uh, quarterly test notice. We've got our next inspection due. Um, this is a commercial premises, so that'll be doing five years time. We've got our little advert label up there, which has got our contact details on. Um, so inside here, we've got our non-corrosive baton, which is actually lighting this up really well. All the con conduit all done. A couple of sockets, they've already plugged in their compressor. Um, and that's all running as it should be. We've got a light light switch just as you come in. Um, I've wired it so the little LED 
um, is on when it's off just so you can locate the switch. So yeah, that all works well. Um, I'll show you the lights in the wash bay next door. It is absolutely pissing it down outside at the moment. I don't know if you can hear it on the container, um, so I'll, I'll be very quick. So we've got our floodlight at the front there, um, which is just going to wash the light up this wash bay area here. Um, we've got our non corrosive batons here, which will light up inside the van when it's falloting. Another one here. There's a faller inside. <laughs> and we've got another one up there. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, if anyone was wondering what the uh, ZE value is on the earth rod, we got 26.7 ohms in the end, so pretty good for a stake. Um, so yeah, that's it. End of this video. I hope it's been an infor informative one. Usual, don't forget to like our Facebook page, Shaw Lake Electrical Limited. Give this video a like, subscribe if you want to, uh, comment, any comments are welcome. And yeah, give our other videos a view, and I'll see you on the next video. See you later.